hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel today i'll be giving you a tutorial regarding how to create light streaks in adobe photoshop so this is one of the effects i have created and uh, i have performed all the effects in uh, 24 steps so let's begin the tutorial Let's take a new file. There is a landscape mode, it's quite okay for me. I press the button OK. Then uh, I type a text light. I can increase the size of the text. I will just press the Ctrl T and resize it and place it in the middle. Now I need to rasterize this text layer so I right click it and select rasterize the next step is I need to select this text and save this as an alpha channel so I have selected this text I will go to channel and then select this I created new alpha channel apart from this RGB mode now I need to apply some multiple modes to this selected text so i'll go to edit and select fill out here by default it is white and uh, i will keep it white only now my selected text has turned into white color i need to apply some filters in this text the first filter i will have to apply is the gaussian blur and uh, by default is 2.5 it's okay for me and uh, I press the button OK then one more filter I need to apply is the solarize so I will go to filter stylish and click on solarize I will get back the black text I dislike it by pressing the button ctrl T and come back to the layers palette I need to duplicate this text so I just press the button ctrl J and uh, I got a duplicate text of this light I need to apply another filter that is the polar coordinates so I will go to filter distort polar coordinates and uh, I can zoom it out by default it's rectangular to polar I have to select polar to rectangular so this is the effect I got after applying polar coordinates now I need to apply one more filter that is the wind filter so in order to perform that I need to rotate this canvas 90 degree so I will go to image and image rotation I will go for clockwise press the button control I if I press the button control I it becomes inverse black becomes white here I will apply the filter wind for that uh, I'll go to filter stylus select wind then method I will be selecting wind and direction is from the right you can see the wind effect out here I press the button ok you can uh, slightly see the wind effect but I need to to create a race longer so I will be performing the wind effect and I will press the button ctrl F ctrl F is the default key for the previous filter so I press the button ctrl F three times and then the, I go to image and apply some auto tone and press the button ctrl F once again now I need to rotate the canvas counterclockwise so that it comes back to the normal. So image rotations counterclockwise. So this is what I got till now. Now I will apply the polar coordinates again. I will go to filter, distort polar coordinates, and this time I will be selecting rectangular to polar. So you can already see the effects that has been created. 
now I need to apply some blending modes to this text layer so I will go to effects select the blending options and then change the blend mode from normal to screen Now I need to create a new layer where I can apply the color. I have to select the gradient tool and uh, change the color. I will go to yellow and uh, I will go for a red color. Press the OK button and uh, apply the gradient tool. I need to apply color mode. To this gradient layer so I will go to effects go to blending options and uh, select the color mode I press the button ok I can press the button ctrl I to get the reverse light effects I need to apply the last filter in this text so the last filter will be the radial blur so I'll go to filter go to blur and select a radial blur out here the amount I gave 100 and uh, blur method I have to select zoom and quality depends on what you like uh, I selected good and uh, it depends on the RAM and the memory of your system and I press the button ok in the meantime I will change the background color so I will press the button control backspace just to change the background color and uh, I will go back to the duplicate layer text and press the button control F just to increase the light streaks so this light streak seems ok for me now and uh, I need to highlight the text this is the last step so I will go to channel click on the alpha and come back to layer create a new layer and then the put a white text or a black text whatever is comfortable for you I prefer going for a black text and apply on it or maybe a white text black doesn't seem that much suitable So this is the final output we got at the end and if you want to increase the light streaks you can still increase it by pressing the button control F okay and uh, if you keep pressing the button control I you can get uh, the reverse color the original uh, gradient color we have applied if you keep applying different colors you'll be getting different output so guys this is the end of the tutorial thank you guys hey guys thank you for watching my channel please like it share it and subscribe it